In this Pixel Lab tutorial, we're going to create this 3D ice text effect, and the small woody one below. The texts are completely editable and the effects can be saved as a preset for future projects. You can go ahead and watch my previous text effect video where I explained how to save and edit text effects. With that said, let's get started. We'll start by creating the snowing background, and to do that, go to the background color and select gradient fill. For the inner color, I'll be using this blue from my color palette, link to download this color palette will be given in the video's description, or you can simply just type in the color hex code here. While for the outer color, I'll be using this black blue from my palette, you can also copy the hex code here. Create a new color position at the middle, and change its color to this dark blue, then adjust the color slider to something like this. Next. I'm going to import this snowfall PNG image, download links in the description below. With the snow image selected, go to the color paint option and change its color to this blue from the palette. Now for the text effect. Here as you can see, I've already typed my text and I'm going to be using this font called Arco, I'll drop a link to download it in the description below. Make a copy of the text, and hide the layer temporarily, we'll need it later. With the first text selected, go to its color, and select Gradient. For the top color, I'm going to be using this cyan blue from my color palette. While for the bottom color, I'll be using this blue here, you can go ahead and type in the hex code here. Then click OK. Next, scroll to 3D text and enable it. Change the view type to oblique, and reduce the depth to 6. Reduce darken to 0% and rotate the oblique angle to 316 degrees. Then scroll down and make sure you disable the lighting stimulation. Open the layers panel and unhide the second text, then place it at the middle. Scroll right to texture, and here I'm going to be using this ice texture image. You can go ahead and download it, I'll drop the link in the description below. Tap OK, and make sure you enable maintain ratio. Go to Inner Shadow and enable it, change its color to white, and reduce the blur radius to 1, then move the offset Y value to minus 2. Open the Layers panel and select the first text. Go to Shadow and enable it, reduce the opacity to 20%, and blur radius to 1, then move the offset X and Y value to minus 10 and 10 respectively. Finally. Select the second text and scroll to the emboss option and enable it, and increase all the parameters to maximum. Please note that this emboss option is not really necessary especially if your device is having issues with the emboss feature. You can go ahead and make it more realistic by adding these crack PNG images to the ice texture. I'll show you how to get these crack images at the end of the video. The smaller text effect is just as easy as the first one. Here I've typed my text and I'm going to be using this font called Super Mario. Place it below the ice text effect, and go to its color, select gradient, create a new color position at the middle, and for the top color, I'm going to be using this yellow with the hex code of, F0, EB, 0, 0. For the middle one I'm going to be using a orange with the hex value of, FD, 8D, 02. While for the bottom color, I'll be using another yellow with the hex of, FA, FC, 07. Then adjust the color slider to something like this. And click OK. Next, go to its 3D text option and enable it. Change its view type to oblique, and reduce the depth to 3, increase darken to 75% and rotate the oblique angle to 225 degrees, then rotate the Z angle to minus 7 degrees. Next, I'm going to import this wood PNG frame, link to download this PNG frame would be given in the description. Place it right at the small text effect, and bring the layer below it. Go to its shadow option and enable it. Reduce the opacity to 50%, blur radius to 3, and move the offset X and Y value to minus 3 and 3 respectively. So there you have it guys.
you can go ahead and edit it to whatever you want and all the effects will be applied to it. That's it for this tutorial, I've dropped the PLP template file in the video's description for you to use for free. Please share this video with others and don't forget to leave a like. And by the way, if you want these cracked PNG images, let me know in the comments below, I'll reply you with the link to download it. Thanks for watching, bye for now.